pretend it Can't pretend, oh no Whoa. I can't pretend it Can't pretend it Don't feel right No, don't feel right Welcome back to another vlog. Y'all, tell me the lighting isn't everything. It's a little bit noisy. Let's wait for everyone to pass. So, as you guys can tell by the title today, we're having a sushi date. So, as you guys can see, we went to the sushi spot. Whoa. Here's what she looks like. It has raw spicy tuna on top, which I don't think I'm going to eat. We also got a little salad. We got some soup. And my greedy butt know how I am. So I got teriyaki with like white rice on the side. And Rue is having the time. Let's pray. Heavenly Father, thank you so much for this heavenly food. Let it do well to our bodies. May it be the strength that I need. In Jesus' name, amen. And I wanted to come on here before I jump back into the swing of things. Um, and just to let you guys know where I've been for the last three to four weeks. So COVID came and tried to knock your girl off the shelf. But God was like, listen, pick up those pieces and please put them back on the shelf. Okay? Because I'm not done with that yet. So... I got sick with COVID and <clears throat> it was one of the worst two weeks of my life, okay? If you don't think that COVID is real, if you don't think that COVID is a thing, it can't touch you, I want you to just reconsider that thought because now that I thought that COVID wasn't, you know, I, I couldn't get COVID, but I did everything in my power, my family and I, for the last year and a half to not contract COVID. However, someone thought it was very spontaneous, well, not spontaneous, but very resilient, I don't know, super warrior of them to come to work feeling sick with COVID and instantly I contracted COVID. So I was out for two whole weeks. I am now completely cleared, healed, <laughs> sanctified touched by the holy ghost i'm good my family and i akeem did get sick as well but he wasn't as severe as me i was admitted into the hospital and everything if you follow me on instagram you would have seen all the behind scenes because i document i like to document stuff so i document as much as i could but covid is real the body headaches fever chills all of that it is no joke I literally thought I was going to lose my life and the fact that like right now I'm here and I'm able to just simply take in a deep breath without struggling I would never ever take that for granted again but I'm healthy now I was admitted in the hospital for like two days I was severely dehydrated I was my vitals weren't the best and I had a fever of 105 
so my body has been through a lot for the last three weeks i just felt like today was a perfect day to treat myself to some sushi because i'm not a sushi girl but for some reason your girl has been feeding for sushi for the last two days so we don't oh we don't know what's going on but i've been feeding for sushi for the last two days so, so today i just thought it would be the perfect time to take my little munchkin right here to the park have me a nice little sushi day and just appreciate and embrace where i'm at right now just being thankful and grateful for life i just want to shout my mom out real quick because if it wasn't for her i don't think i would have made it there comes a point when i don't know because not everybody experiences but <laughs> you ever get to a point where you feel like I need to tell you my pin numbers. I need you to tell, give you my social security, just where all my private information is, because I don't think I'm gonna make it. Getting COVID was one of those scenarios for me. It was a time to test my patience, not patience, but my faith. Um, and I question, not question a lot of things, but a lot went through my mind. Fall is officially here, the leaves are changing, and I'm just like, I'm just I'm just thankful I think we need to take more time doing things that I don't want to say isolate because isolate is is can be a bad word but um, isolation is good sometimes um, it's a perfect time to reflect and it's a perfect time to just think about yourself and um, outside of everybody else i hope that doesn't sound too selfish because it's not coming from a selfish place but more from a place of growth and want to be better for yourself and to serve the people around you um i just wanted to do a quick little vlog just like catching you guys and i didn't want to just come back with like yeah look at my armpits they're nice and clear oh look this is how you do this this is how you do that i wanted to <coughs> give you guys a little bit of why I've been MIA, what's been going on, but yeah, I'm good. Lulu's good. Bye, Lulu. Lulu. Wanna run? Let's go. So, whew, I totally forgot to tell you guys, I lost 15 pounds within the last three weeks for being sick. And the way that my face looks, I don't know if you guys noticed, it's a lot slimmer. I'm here for it. However, I think that this is the perfect time to get my butt enrolled in some sort of activity so that I can maintain and keep this weight so I was originally 190 pounds now I am 177 mind-blowing like mind-blowing so I saw there was a place near my house they're doing uh, what is that called what is that called CrossFit no cycling no whatever that cycling class is called and you go like real fast and up and stand up and down and put it up and down and we just you know all of that I saw a young lady advertising or she had a class outside and I was like bro this is like right around the corner this would be perfect so I went on her website and it was only $55 for five class so I think I want to dedicate the next five weeks once a week to attending this class and doing the cycling and see how much more weight I can lose or if I can tone up because definitely can use some toning up but yeah I want to dedicate the next five weeks let me know if that's something that you guys would be interested in seeing or watching and I can definitely vlog and talk about my experience you guys know I've been doing jump rope but jump rope the weight was coming off um, I lost about five to six pounds nothing crazy or drastic that I could have seen like unlike now like my face just look a lot more slimmer my thighs are a lot more 
skinnier and you can tell that I'm like I've shed a couple pounds so if that's something that you guys are interested in let me know and I can incorporate that into some vlogs I'm not gonna ramble too much I think that's pretty much it I am gonna just head home after this play with Rue and enjoy the next couple of days off until it's back to work so yeah thank you guys so much for watching I hope you and your family are all well God's willing next time I'll catch you in my next one These are Six Flags tuna rolls, right? And they have raw sushi on top with, I don't know what this is called. Not a sushi girl, but. Let's just take this off because I don't know what this is. Spicy tuna, no, no thank you. Dip it in the sauce, girl. Dip it in the sauce. Okay.